Greetings everyone and welcome to Mactasia. In this video tutorial I will show you how to mark the connectors with the text in SOLIDWORKS and how to calculate the mass of the enclosure by using SOLIDWORKS material library. So with that being said, let's get started. In this video tutorial I will use this 3D model of the PCB enclosure. If you want to work alongside me you can download the model from the link given in the description. Or if you want to learn how to model the PCB enclosure like this, you can watch the tutorial in the series from here. It is important to mark the connector with text because it helps the user of the enclosure to identify the purpose of the connector. For example, to identify whether the connector is input or output. Let's start the process. Right click on the enclosure and select edit part. Start the sketch on the face and follow the process. Select the text tool and click on the line. Write RF in here. You can increase the font size of the text from here. And change the orientation from here. On the other line write RF out. Exit the sketch, use extrude cut command to create the marking of the text. Make sure not to use the extrude command because it will increase the machining time of the enclosure drastically and so the machining cost. Select all the faces and change their appearance to red. Now let's calculate the mass of the enclosure. Right click on the enclosure and open the part in the part mode. Go in the evaluate tab and click mass properties. To calculate the mass of the enclosure, the most important property which is required is density. You can provide the value of the density from here. Or you can go in the material library of the SOLIDWORKS and specify the material from there. Enclosure like this is mostly made up of aluminium 6061. So we can select aluminium 6061 under the aluminium alloys. Select the material and click apply. Now go in the mass properties and see the value of the mass. If we specify other material the mass of the enclosure will change. For example if we select steel, as steel is denser than aluminium, so the mass of the enclosure will increase. Previously it was approx 117 grams. But now it is 346 grams approximately. If you do have any questions with what we covered in this video, then feel free to ask in the comment below. I will do my best to answer them. If you enjoy this tutorial and like to support them, the easiest way is to simply like the video. 
be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you for watching